Hi! So in today's short video, we're going to be learning about brewing a tea for forgiveness. The point of the tea is to support your heart to heal um, and forgive grudges and uh, unforgivable acts that might happen against you or even the small things. Um, and we're going to talk about the importance of forgiveness, but we're going to do this real quick. So before I get started, what I want to do, so this can be brewing, I'm going to take one of these and throw them in, and one from this one, and then I'll talk to you in a second about what I'm putting in here um, so that we can go into that a little bit more in detail. But I want you to be able to see the tea start to brew. So uh, whenever, by the way, you're using, uh, you always want to use hot water, but you want to use water that's been hot, not boiling. If it comes to a complete boil, I'll throw some more water in there. If it comes to a complete boil, um, then what happens is the oxygen begins to escape from the tea and you don't get the same uh, effects, you don't get the same oxygenation of the tea itself and getting the same full flavor and release. So you always want to start with water that is very, very hot and just about to boil but not at a full boil or definitely don't want it to be boiled for very long. And then what you do is you add your teas. Now today what we're going to be talking about again is forgiveness. So there's two different herbs that really support together to help you to forgive. Okay, understanding this is that Tulsi, which is also called holy basil, is an adaptogen, and an adaptogen is an herb that is very, very supportive of your system. Um, it's one that helps the body adapt to stress, whether it's physical stress, emotional stress, trauma, whatever it is that you'll be going through that the body would be stressed over, an adaptogen helps the body deal with that. And Tulsi, which is also called holy basil, is really good at that. Um, an adaptogen is also something that you can use long term uh, without side effects, so that's a really nice thing. Now, specifically, what holy basil is about is about opening up the higher chakras, opening up and connecting to your higher self, to the uh, higher dimensions, to the divine, and being able to bring that through and bring that presence into your body more fully. Now, the divine always exists out there, right? But if we don't connect, if we don't open ourselves up to connecting to that, then we stay separate and we're much more limited and it's much more difficult to do the things that we might want to do here as a divine being, meaning as a, um, as a soul here in a body on a journey. You want to be the best you. And so accessing those higher realms helps you to put forth your best effort. It helps you to have a much clearer connection with those realms to be the best you you can be. Um, in addition, rose hip is about healing the heart. Um, the ingredients in it, the vitamin C and the things that are in there are known for helping to support the heart. If you do uh, herbology or aromatherapy or um, flower essences or any of those things, you know that rose is about healing the heart. And even if you were just going to send flowers to a friend, uh, not flowers to a friend, but flowers to someone that you love, or potentially flowers for sympathy or something like that. Rose is one of our favorite flowers to send, and that's because rose says love. Rose is something that you send to someone that you love. So what happens when you put the holy basil, which is the high spiritual connection tea, together with rose, which is very good for the heart, it helps to connect the high spiritual you with your heart, which is the part of you that wants to love. Uh, it might have gotten wounded and hurt, so it goes to shut down, but it wants to love. So when you do that and you put those together, then as they start to brew, what happens is you're getting this tea that is going to be very beneficial to your spiritual self uh, and to the part of you that truly, again, wants to love and forgive. Now, what I also recommend is I add um, 10 of my healing drops to the tea. You could do this in a cup if you want to. I just do it in a pot because it's easy for you to see. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, there we go. 10 is the number of completion as well. So I use those to help add the additional vibratory rate and emotional support to the pot of tea so that as I drink it, um, not only is my body able to uh, potentially do more healing, but also increase that capacity for forgiveness. So um, here we go. Look how quickly that happened. And I'll pour my tea. And by the way, I want to say thank you to Cynthia for sending me this beautiful mug. Um, she's an artist and painted this and has a little phrase on the back and sent this to me special. And I want to thank you for that, Cynthia, for your, for your love and your caring and for sharing that with me. So to help you with forgiveness, this is the tea blend that I find is most supportive. 